imagine a life without electricity for at least one year? No, we can't even imagine a life without electricity for one day also. But I have an example of a woman who hasn't used electricity throughout her life. Her name is Hema Sane. She is 78 years old. That means she hasn't used electricity for last 78 years. She lives near Tamdi Jageshwa Temple which is in Pune. She was a professor and completed a PhD and wrote down more than 100 books with the help of solar lamps. Hi friends, I'm Mansi Chetan Shinde of class 8A from the Lexicon School Head of Sir and I am here to deliver a speech on the topic Turn off your lights and make your future bright. I think everyone present here would think that electricity is an easy thing in our life. But the actual fact is it can also change to very very dangerous issue. Now the question how? I guess everyone has the same question in their mind. Let me tell you. In China, there is a city known Beijing, which is the capital of China and most polluted city in the world. Now you all may think that it's polluted due to the execution of smoke by vehicles and factories. But the actual fact is it's polluted due to the excess use of electricity. As we all know, electricity is generated by thermal power plants. Basically, thermal power plants need coal as its fuel which releases harmful gases and simultaneously produces electricity which is very very useful for us. Due to increase in population in Beijing, the demand for energy is high which increase in pollution. Due to increase in pollution, the government has to declare holiday for schools, offices, banks etc. to protect their citizens. If China is suffering from such a harsh condition, after some years, our India may also suffer from such a condition. To prevent this, our government should take remedial measures and we to responsible citizens should take drastic steps to protect our surroundings. As electricity has become a very essential part of our life, without which we cannot live at all. Unlike Hema Sane, if she can't live without electricity for such a long period of time, why can't we? Yes, I can understand it's difficult not to live without electricity at all nowadays but at least we can try not to misuse or waste our precious resources which are useful to our day to day life. Let's take a oath that we will also save electricity and other natural resources. In this way I would like to conclude my today's speech and thank you for your patient hearing and impatient reaction. Here Mansi Chetan Shinde signing off. Thank you.